welcome. The bar is in the back and they're coming around with food. I use the most wonderful catering company. They only hire ex-convicts to give them a second chance. Oh, that's wonderful. Get in here and meet everyone. Oh, Lieutenant, I want to introduce you to my old neighbor, John. He's the head of admissions at the Calder Academy in the Bronx. Calder, that's the best elementary school in the city. Their mock trial team gets hired to work real cases. And Chuck, my friend from Major Crimes is here. You're going to love him. Maybe I will, maybe I won't. Well, uh, come on, let's go. Uh, let me take your coat. No, I need it. Oh, this way. What grade are your daughters in? They're in sixth grade. Oh, wait, I'm sorry. <laughs> That's their reading level. They're in second. Wow, they sound quite impressive. Oh, good, the food. I'm starving. Hello, Detective Jeffords. Do I know you? Ronald Palmer. You arrested me 10 years ago. You testified at my trial. Oh, hey, what have you been up to? Prison. Prison. Yeah, I shouldn't have asked. I spent 10 long years thinking about what I would do if I ever saw you again. Let us go. Uh, oh, do you think I'm trying to poison you? Am I always going to be a criminal in your eyes, even though I've served my time? No, no, no. I'm just not hungry right now. Oh, you said you were starving. Yes, John. Thanks for reminding me, John. Calder, we're not just looking for good students. We want compassionate members of the community. Great. Terry has a passion for compassion. Turkey pinwheel? Oh, you're back again. You seem to be working this one spot a lot. Well, we're old friends, remember? I'll ask again, turkey pinwheel. Why is there just one? I made it special for you. How is it special? There's a little something extra in it. Wait, are you still suspicious of me? You don't think I deserve a second chance? Impossible. Lieutenant Jeffords has a passion for compassion. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> you know what? I will take this pinwheel. Mmm, delicious! <laughs> Okay? I'm fine, but that dog came right at me and I have no idea why. It looked like you had a lot of food in your pockets. What? No, that's not true. This jacket never had any pockets. This is the style. Oh my God. You did think I was poisoning you. I mean, you were the one who said he spent every day in prison dreaming of the day we'd meet again. So I can prove to you I changed. You said you put something extra in my food. Love. You said it's so creepy. Look, tone is everything, man. I've been talking to a cinder block wall for the last 10 years. I'm sorry if my social skills leave something to be desired. That is a really good explanation. 